In this video, we are going to solve the University of Waterloo CCC 2021 Junior 2 Silent Auction problem. So in this problem, basically you have a silent auction where people are bidding. Um, the first sample input is going to tell you how many bids there were. And then following that, there's going to be pairs of strings followed by integers to indicate the name of the person and the bid that they made. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to track the name of the person who had the highest bid. And if someone makes the same bid, then it doesn't count them. So you can see in sample two here, uh, this person bid 20 and then this other person bid 20. But the first person to bid 20 is the count as the highest bid and you cannot replace them by bidding the same amount. That kind of makes sense too. All right, so anyways, um, let's get to coding this one. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is we have to take in the number of bids. Okay, so we're gonna say int bids, and then we're gonna say C in bids. All right, so we're just gonna read in the number of bids. Now, there's actually two different sets of data we need to track. One is that we have to track the name, and then we also have to track the, the corresponding uh, bid amount for that name. But not only that, but we have to count the winning name and also the winning bid. So I think the people that had trouble with this, maybe um, that was what they missed. So we're gonna say string, and we will just say current name, and then we also need winning name. Okay, and we'll need int, and we'll say current amount, and winning amount. Okay, and the winning amount has to start at zero. Um, otherwise, um, this program, this algorithm won't make sense. And I'll, if I remember, I'll explain why later. Okay, now that we know how many bids there are, we're gonna say for int x is equal to zero, uh, x is less than bids, and then x plus plus. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll read in the, um, I believe it gives the name first. So C in name, C in, oh, it's not name, it is current name and current amount. All right, so what we're doing is we're reading in the current name and the current amount, which is the bid that we're currently considering. And then we're gonna just ask the question, we're gonna just say if the current amount is greater than the winning amount, then what we can do is then we can just say that the, well then if the current amount's more than the winning amount, then the new winning amount is equal to the current amount. And that would also mean that the winning name is equal to the current name. And make sure that this is not an equal sign, not a greater than or equal to, just greater than. Um, and I believe that that is it. Now, the reason why you have to you have to initialize this to zero is that in C++, if you don't initialize this to zero, this will essentially get a random number. It's not a random number, but it will get like some random number. And then this comparison here won't work properly or it might not work properly. So that's why you have to set it to zero. Okay, and then at the end, we just say C out the winning name and I believe that is it for the whole solution. So we can compile this and we'll test this against the test data. Okay, so I pulled up the test data here and we have three Ahmed 300. I'm just gonna put Sue's because I don't want to type the whole thing. 500 and Ivana uh, 450. Okay, and then Suzanne is the winner for that one. And we can try and run this again. Okay, and in that one, uh, they basically had two and they both bid the same amount. So we'll say like, um, I don't know, like Pete voted, like bid like 200 and then Jim also bid 200. And this should say Pete was the winner, right? And there we go. Okay, so let's throw it into the grader and see how we do. Okay, so we have submitted this to the grader and put this in, that's our code. All right, and refresh. Hopefully we'll have, well, correct is good. Okay, more correct, more correct. Last one. All right, there we go. All of them correct. So that was pretty easy peasy as well. Um, you know, I always hate it when people say that, but you know, this one wasn't too challenging, um, but they do get harder. So let's move on to the next video will be junior three.